and your Olympic trials champion in a season's best time of 10.71, Shakari Richardson. Uh-huh, she did that. Shakari is fired up and more than ready to go to Paris next month. I'm from and I'm super excited to continue to grow and build from this momentum that we've already established from here. So athletics sweeping the Olympic trials and it's, it's more than, it's more than exciting and I'm super excited to continue to go forward. Her excitement is completely understandable. After all, this year's Summer Games will be her Olympic debut, and everyone, including herself, is expecting great outcomes in Paris. This is definitely possible for her. After all, Shikari Richardson has captured the world's attention, both on and off the track, at just 24 years old. After a couple of challenging years, the Dallas native has proven herself as a rising sensation who defies limits and sets her own pace. Now, she is locked and loaded for her first Olympics. When asked about her aspirations, she said, My goal is to be the best person and athlete I can be. She also got into detail about what she is doing to work towards the attainment of her goals. I am really working on myself, mind, body, and soul. If I continue to focus on those things, I can achieve anything. And the things she wishes to achieve? Multiple Olympic gold medals. If she wins the 100-meter title, Shekari could become the first American woman sprinter after Florence Griffith Joyner to be on top at the event. Some say that the young American is well-equipped to follow Flojo's footsteps and could even surpass her one day. As you know, Richardson is the current 100-meter world champion after winning last year's world championships. This year, she continued to exhibit her dominance in the distance. She notably ran her first 100 meter of the season in May and basically flew to the finish line, leaving her competitors scrambling after her. Yep, it was a smooth victory in the women's 100 meter at the Diamond League Prefontaine Classic in Eugene, Oregon. Pretty good start there from Shakari Richardson. Really good start from Julian Alfa. We do expect that she's uh, leading at the moment. Shakari Richardson coming better and getting ahead and winning comfortably. A one meter win there for Shakari Richardson. 10.83 Living up to her world champion title, she blazed to victory in 10.83 seconds. Although she had a good start, she still had to trail Julian Alfred in the early stages of the race. From her, Julian Alfred, world indoor champion, we knew would be quick over the first half, and indeed she did lead. But Kesha Carey Richardson car uh, sort of caught her up. Of course, the American track star wasn't just about to let anyone outrun her so she picked up the pace at the 30-meter mark. From there, she cruised into the lead and crossed the line first at 10 minutes and 83 seconds. Alfred had to settle for a second-place finish in 10.93, with Dina Asher-Smith clocking 10.98 in third, ahead of fellow Briton Daryl Naita. Melissa Jefferson was the second American home in fifth ahead of Cote d'Ivoire's Marie-José Talou-Smith. Jamaica's reigning Olympic champion Elaine thompson Hera, who made her first competitive appearance since last September's Prefontaine Classic, was ninth in 11.30. Anyhow, Shakari's time translated to the second fastest in the world at the time, trailing Jashis Sears, who logged a 10.77 in April. That was then. After Richardson ran 10.71 at the U.S. Trials, she now holds the world leading time this year. You wouldn't even have guessed that before running a season's best time, she was nervous about the upcoming Olympics, and therefore the trials too, as it would determine her place in the team. In a She Knows email chat, the 100 and 200 meter dash event superstar admitted to being a little on edge about the summer games ahead of her. She did add, Honestly, I feel most confident on the track when I'm the most nervous. That may be backward, but I feel confident in relying on the training I've been doing and the way I've prepared myself day by day. In addition to her training routine, she also puts a heavy focus on her mental preparation. This includes a nice dinner, talking to my family, chilling by the pool for a little. A crucial part of recovery also means a good night's sleep and she's often in bed, no later than 10 p.m. Because of her obvious dedication to the sport and her dazzling performances, various athletes recognize her talent and potential. Retired Team USA track star and four-time Olympic gold medalist Sanya Richards-Ross talked about Shakari with NBC5's Laura Harris. 
the retired athlete now analyst for NBC Sports for Track and Field, proved to be a great believer of the current 100-meter world champion. Give me three words to describe Shakiri Richardson. A superstar. She is um, dynamic, and she's a champion. She also expressed support for the young athlete, who is slowly but surely making her way to the top. I am excited to see what she does this season. It's really shaping up to be Shakiri's year. I think she could really back up that world championship with her first Olympic gold medal. Another Olympian is also rooting for Shakari, two-time and reigning Olympic champion. In shot put, Ryan Krauser said he'd like to sit next to Richardson on their flight from the US to Paris. In a Team USA social media post, he explained the reasoning behind his choice. She's a firecracker. She's entertaining, he said. Funnily though, the Oregon native had ulterior motives for the transatlantic choice too. She doesn't take up a ton of space, he said laughing, so I can kind of lean into her seat and not feel bad about it. For context, Krauser is 6 foot 7 and 320 pounds, while his preferred seatmate stands just 5 foot 1. Professional basketball player Aja Wilson also said she wouldn't mind sitting next to Shikari. She said that she felt they would vibe. Well, now that Shikari secured a spot for Paris, they could start planning who sits beside her on the plane, if it's at all possible. What would it mean to make it to Paris? Just literally all the training, all of the support, all of the naysayers, it pays off, Richardson told NBC. It pays off in that moment when you realize when you made that Olympic team. She is aiming to set her own records in the women's 100 meter event and conquer her Olympic dream after she missed out on competing in the 2020 Tokyo Games. Notably though, Shakari isn't only dreaming of bagging an Olympic gold medal. Like many other female athletes, she is hoping that the global showcase for her sport will call out the pay disparity between women and men. Advocating for the change, she said that women should be paid more for the innumerable sacrifices they make in order to pursue a career in athletics. She also noted that the pay gap is not exclusive to track and field. My hope is for the audience of women's sports to continue to grow and for female athletes to get the attention they deserve to show that we're just as entertaining and bring a similar level of competitiveness to our sports, she said via She Knows. Ultimately, I'd also love to see women receive a similar level of pay to compensate for the same or even larger sacrifice that we put into being professional athletes. Richardson is ready for her voice to be heard, on and off the track. Hopefully, there will be active steps taken about the issue now that Shakori, along with other female athletes, has expressed their concern about the matter. As they say, the only thing that's constant is change, and this change is arguably absolutely necessary. This goal may not come to fruition as early as this year, but Shakari can still focus on one she has the chance to achieve, her Olympic gold medal dreams. Unsurprisingly, she's a heavy favorite to make the Olympic team in the 100 meters and 4x100 meters. The US Olympic track and field trials, a nerve-fraying, pressure-packed test of metal, has already begun and will happen until June 30th. America's best runners, hurdlers, jumpers, and throwers have started to descend upon Hayward Field in Eugene, Oregon, to attempt to secure their spot at the Paris Olympics later this summer. The top three finishers in every event will make it as long as they've achieved the Olympic A standard. Watch this to see who else is fighting for a spot on the team.